Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Probably one of the most significant yet of your career. Yeah. But how are you? A little banged up, but how are you <laughs> the, the smile's there. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling great. It was an amazing fight. Everything went as I planned with my team. So I'm very happy to come back home with the win. Absolutely. You went up against a veteran who's seen all kinds of different styles, could bring all kinds of things to you. But what was the game plan going in preparing for Angela? Uh, was really pressure her, don't let her breathe on that fight, take her gas out, damage her, and look for the takedown. So I think I did exactly uh, what we planned for. Were you, what were you proudest of tonight? Your hands, the controlling of the cage, you were able to pull for position. There mm -hmm. were so many times you were able to just, you seemed so strong in there tonight. That's the, what really stood out. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel very strong. Uh, training camp was insane. Uh, I think I improved a lot of my striking. I've been working a lot on that with my team. And uh, I show up, show that tonight. And um, I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> can't wait for it either. Yeah. Uh, the judges had it all across the board, 29 28. Mm -hmm. How confident were you that you know, you're know you going to get your hand raised once they announced the winner? I was very confident because I was pushing the fight forward. And I have uh, I landed a lot of shots. And I, took, I had some takedowns. So I was, I was very confident with my winning. Yeah. There were some, some big shots she landed off her back when you were trying to pass her guard. Oh, yeah. And those kicks looked brutal. Did any of those actually land, or did they grace you? No, nah, they didn't land on me. Yeah. And what did she bring tonight that surprised you? Because it was a hard fight. 15 minutes oh, were, yeah. they were brutal. She's a very good fighter, Angela, and I'm very honored to share the cage with her. Uh, she has a lot of experience, more experience than me, and... Uh, it was, she's a very good fighter. I was expecting that. I was expecting the best version of Angela tonight, and she bring the heat tonight. And uh, it was a very high pace. It was a crazy pace fight. And um, yeah, I was, I was waiting for that. Yeah. And and waiting for this moment is just so perfect that you're on this big stage, mm -hmm. co-main event, mm -hmm. and the icing on the cake is come Monday morning. You might be in the top ten. How mm -hmm. good does that feel? It feels amazing. Yeah, yeah, I worked very hard to be in the top 10. Actually, I was expecting on my last fight against Tissia to be up in the rank, but uh, unfortunately, she was out of the rank, so I didn't got the shot. And now, uh, fighting Angela, uh, put him in the top 10, that proves to myself that I'm ready for the next level. And how soon do we get you back in here? Obviously, there's more eyes on you. People are going to want to see you. Turn around yep. real quick. They want to see the baby shark <laughs> before the year ends, or what's going on? Uh, I've been fighting a lot. I think this year I want to take some time for myself, enjoy my family and my friends. Actually, I want to go to Thailand in December with my Mai Tai gym and uh, take Colin with me. Um, I want to try train some Mai Tai there, get more uh, master these strikings and stuff, and then come back next year. Uh, more high level, mastering everything and trying to be a more uh, well round fighter. Yeah. Man, that'll just make you more deadly. Yeah. I'm, I know you know the voices in your corner, but did you hear his? Because he was doing just this crazy shouting instructions and telling you what punches to throw. I was hearing everyone. <laughs> I was hearing everyone, but it was a very high pace fight and I was hearing a lot forward pressure for it. Stay on it, stay on it. That's, <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Wow. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank Enjoy you. Thailand, and well done tonight. Appreciate it. Yeah. You're now tied with Loopy and Amanda Lemos for the most wins in straw weight mm -hmm. um, since, since 2021. How, how does that feel? I still think I won the fight, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Split decisions hard, but um, yeah, uh, it was a very good fight, and i um, very happy for that win tonight. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, when you came into the UFC, you had such little experience, but mm -hmm. I think over the years, you've just keep leveling up, leveling up, yeah. and it shows you're mm -hmm. tied with the most wins in the division. So, yeah. as what are you doing that's that that's letting you letting you level up? Discipline. <laughs> There's no secret juice. There is nothing. <laughs> there is no secret. Uh, lifestyle, full weird, uh, Sunday to Sunday. Uh, it's how the way you take your life, you know, what you eat, how you sleep, uh, how you, who you walk with, uh, just stay disciplined. 
Yeah. When, when Angela pulled her pants down yesterday, what was going through your head? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> and she just looked at me and said, oops, I forgot. And then she put her pants down. I was laughing. She's actually very funny. She's a very good person. Then. And then um, with the UFC going on the road next year, are you, are you open to fight in California? I would love to. Yeah, I want to fight California, Brazil, Japan. That's some place that I would love to fight. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Thank you.